Give a man a computer and frustrate him for a day. Teach a man how to code and frustrate him for a lifetime. Pow! Oh! Welcome to Design Strong. In this video today, we will ensure that you are not frustrated with design. We are going to do a mock interview regarding one of the data schema designs. So data schema design basically is about you know understanding the requirement from a functional perspective and deciding how we are going to utilize the database and uh, how are we going to design. Uh, the data schema design usually is asked in uh, RDBMS sort of an environment because in case of a NoSQL sort of a database then in those case the design is really simple because all you are going to have is let's say a key value sort of design so in this data schema design there will be a lot of things that you are going to learn first is how to keep the design very simple how not to you know over complicate the design just to just to you know show that there are a lot of concepts that we are aware of how to ensure that normalization is there in the database design that you are doing plus also considering the fact that the design need not be very complicated and usually in a data schema design try not to go towards scaling because if the like, interviewer is interested on scaling aspects let's say, such as let's say splitting the data or sharding or partitioning etc then they will mention about their intentions of asking about sharding so you start with a simple design in terms of a schema and then as and when you know uh, the interview gets completed if there is time or if there is a cross question that comes about the quantity or the quantum of data that you're going to have that is when you know you should switch to concepts like sharding and partitioning etc otherwise just keep focus on the normalizations the four normal forms that you might have read and utilize the simple concepts such as primary key for key etc and complete the design Hi, is that Ankit? Yes, Ankit speaking. Hey Ankit, this is Todd speaking from XYZ Consultancy. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Hey, thanks for asking. I'm also doing good. So, are you ready for your interview? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, uh, before we begin, uh, why don't you tell me something about your current role? Okay. So, uh, all I want you to do is uh, design the data schema for one of the problems that we are solving here. Is that fine? Yeah, sure. So uh, we need to do this database design here. So uh, when we, when you said schema design, are we going to design data schema for an RDBMS or a NoSQL? Yeah, RDBMS, yeah. yeah. Okay. So understand it this way. We have a product page. Okay. So uh, understand the product page as maybe Amazon.com slash clothes slash let's say a short okay so what do you have here is a product key which is short in this case and for every product you're going to have four attributes uh, one of them being of course the product name the next is uh, product data product data will uh, have uh, something like uh, you know the free text sort of thing which will be there there will be an image or they can multiple images of course associated with product and this product will belong to category okay so for category we will have three levels of category and uh, for example let's say if it's a shirt that we talked about then uh, it will be under clothes then it will be under uh, let's say fashion wear and then in the shirt category so it's like subcategories so clothes will have a fashion wear and then a shirts next on the product page, you'll also be able to see reviews by the other users. And every review will contain who or which user has posted this, a star rating for all the reviews, and a description of the review, of course. OK, so uh, I have a question here. So does review contains images or maybe videos as well? No, no. Let's let's for the time being keep images and videos in terms of review out of the scope. And uh, there is one more interesting uh, feature, which is the product owner or let's say the seller in this case can reply to every review once and only once, and this should be non-editable. And apart from this, 
there will be a discussion forum for every product wherein uh, sellers and other buyers can have interaction. So it's like anybody can reply to anyone else's uh, messages on the discussion related to the product or maybe even not related at times. So this is what is we are looking to design and uh, I'm only looking at RDPMS data schema design here. So if that works for you or if you have any questions. Okay, so whatever are the points that you have mentioned as part of this, this design, uh, I have noted them down. Yep, yep. And yeah, I'm ready to begin. Perfect. Okay. So the first category, the, like the first table that I'm thinking of out of, uh, like based on the requirements is going to be a category stable wherein I will have a primary key which is going to be category ID of type UUID and uh, there will be a category name of let's say barcare of size let's say 200 pretty much it so category also had uh, grouping right so one category can be subcategory for other yep that's correct okay okay so i will also have a parent category my bad parent category id so parent category id here uh, will be like so for example if it is a primary category then category id and parent category id is going to be same and if let's say if it is a subcategory then uh, parent category id will be the id uh, category id for the uh, parent category so so it's like whenever you want to retrieve a category you will need to create a self join sort of a structure and uh, that's that's how you know can you know create uh, this category table next what i'm trying to uh, do here is i will create a table for product let's call it product it will have a product id of type UUID then uh, like you said there will be a key for every product let's keep it varca 200 so uh, this is going to be so this was the primary key here right so I'm going to like put that in bold so that we remember and the product key here is going to be a unique key here okay and there will be a product name let's say for the simplicity we will have a similar sort of uh, structure then uh, let me enter a few rows and then the next is going to be a category category which will be there so category is going to be a uuid so this is going to be a foreign key reference so this is this is the foreign key reference which is there and category is there and based on uh, so this is going to be the like bottom most category the child category and based on that like parent category can be retrieved from the categories table does that make sense yep okay then there will be product data which you said is going to be like a free text so uh, okay so so if, when you say free text uh, did you mean like uh, unlimited size of text no nope. Considering the time constraint, let's just keep that out of scope. Let's assume that there is like a 255 characters limit. Okay. 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 So in that case, you know, you can keep it like a 255 character where cap because because you said that we can keep it within the size. Otherwise, I would have created a different table altogether for this and, you know, uh, provided with some of the category like uh, this product data ID and utilize multiple rows for storing this or maybe use something like a blob and uh, there will be a shop ID also associated with every product so shop ID again will be UID uh, shop means like you said a, like amazon.com slash shop slash product right so this is where I am going to you know keep this shop information next what I am going to create is just give me a minute sorry is a like next i'm going to create a table for images it will have a image id here it will also have a product id and let's say we are going to utilize some of the one of the uh, cloud storage so s3 url can be here so again this will be a varcar let's say 255 so product key here again will be a reference to the uh, 
to the product ID which we have okay and uh, this is image ID which is the primary key for this table and uh, for, for users do you want uh, like how, how, because you did not explain how the users will look no considering the time constraint let's okay. just keep okay. that out of scope okay if it is out of scope let's say uh, we will will not get into the user details next table that i'm going to create is going to be for reviews so there will be a review id which will be uid primary key then there will be a product id which will be again a uuid and this is going to be a foreign key reference so review id will again be connected with the with the product id then uh, for review next is going to be a user id uh, because i need to know which user has uh, posted this review so user id again will be uuid and uh, like from the user's reference or a primary key for user will be there then so there will be one uh, rating so star star can be integer star can be uh, can, can that be in let's say 1.5 star or 2.5 no no only integer. okay okay so in that case we can you know keep it simple integer as star rating uh, description we will have a var let's say 255 then i will have a reply id this will be helpful to create the table structure so because review can have a reply also and uh, like you said reply can only come from the buyer so uh, in terms of i like id will not be needed here it will be just the reply text so what we can do here is so there are two approaches that i want to follow here one is if i can have a reply id or let's say uh, is reply boolean so that i can know what are all the reviews which are pending to be replied from the buyer or the owner uh, but I think if it is null or empty, then that is also I'm not taking any is replied. So reviews pretty much is done here. Then uh, uh, next that I'm going to have is maybe another table for uh, discussions. So we will have a discussion ID, which is going to be the primary key for this. Then I will have a product ID, which is going to be UID, the foreign key reference and uh, uh, on the discussion like you had um, which user has posted this this is going to be a user id and there is one more thing uh, so a reply to that will also be a uuid because we need to know what is uh, like for example if let's say if this is starting of discussion then discussion id and reply 2 will be same and then let's say if there is a reply coming to let's say message 1 then reply 2 will have one and then a uh, discussion id like whatever is the id of that response and let's have discussion text like what, what is the uh, discussion like what does this discussion have so this completes discussion let me see again if i have uh, you know covered everything or not so you said uh, let me go through the problem statement again so you said uh, a product page will be there so you will have a product key product will have image and a name product data the text and a category so category can be three levels so category three levels can be retrieved using this category id okay then uh, review review is post review by user it can have a star rating this is fine a description okay and if a reply has been sent okay so reply directly contains the text from the buyer because only buyer can reply right okay and for the forum discussion uh, discussion id product id because you want to know what product uh, this discussion is all about post by user which user has posted this reply to so reply to will help us decide whether this is a reply to an existing discussion or is it a new discussion which is starting and uh, there will be a discussion text which is not going to be UUID, so this is going to be a val care. My bad. Wait, I think my system is hanging a bit. Just give me a minute. Yep. Yeah. So pretty much it. Wasn't a simple case. So I hope you like the interview. Uh, just for your reference, uh, just wanted to you know make this disclaimer that both of the roles are played by me itself. Uh, there was no second interview which was involved. But however, in case if you want to you know appear in the mock interview uh, which we are going to conduct which is going to be around one interview per week then please let us know in the comment section we will get back to you and we can have a mock interview there are a lot of you know uh, companies there are a lot of startups who are charging for this mock interview sort of series our intention is only to you know uh, teach everyone and while we are you know 
exchanging this knowledge while there is a knowledge transition, we are also gaining some part of it. So this is the only intention that we have in case if you are interested in a mock interview, in case if you want to see how are you going to perform in such an interview, then do write to us in the form of comment and we will definitely get back to you. In case if you like the video, please share, subscribe and show your love because we as a channel are very small at this point of time, we want to like broader our reach so that everyone who wants to understand system design, everyone who wants to understand large scale systems are able to get this resource. So keep watching, keep sharing and of course hit the subscribe button and say design strong.